This is the new 10 millimeter F2 from Makey, and I know what you're thinking, another ultra wide angle lens, where were these about a year ago? Well, it seems like they all came out within the last couple of months. Let's check this new lens out. It comes in a simple white box. Inside there is a branded microfiber pouch, a microfiber cleaning cloth, and a warranty card. The lens comes with a plastic rear lens cap and a metal tension fit front lens cap. The lens feels solid, extremely well built, and is unlike any other Makey lens that I've tried. It's all metal and glass with tight tolerances and excellent finishes. A bit unexpected. Starting at the rear, there is a metal mount with no electronic connections. This is a fully manual lens designed for Sony APS-C sensor. No weather sealing here either. Moving up, there is a smooth, well-damped focus ring with about 90 degrees of rotation. Not a ton, but with an ultra-wide, you don't need much. The textured finish here is great. It's nice and grippy, linear rotation, and it feels great to rotate. There is a little red ring around the lens here, and then we move on to this built-in lens hood, but you see here it's all part of the lens body. A giant 10 is located here, Makey logo on top, and at the front you get more of the same. Makey logo, multi-coated, 10mm f2, and a 77mm filter thread. Overall, it's a solid lens for a manual one. It's one of the best that Makey has produced. It really does feel premium. All right, so let's move on to performance. Let's take a look at some samples. All of these were done with this lens on my Sony ZV-E10. No editing, no post-processing, ready, set, go. Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. Alright, so the performance is impressively good as well. This 10mm is nice and sharp wide open at f2. Even into the corners wide open, you don't lose much sharpness or contrast. It's really good for being a fast ultra wide. Even when talking about distortion, it's a good performance. Chromatic aberration is there, but it's well controlled. There is a minimal amount of barrel distortion, and vignetting is not much of an issue. And keep in mind that this lens does not have any electronic connections, so there are no in camera corrections that are fixing issues. Issues. Colors and contrast are good. Focusing is very easy and quick. Flaring is also well controlled without any lens hood. There's really not much to complain about. And I don't want to prolong this review unnecessarily because overall it's a good lens. In fact, it's a great performer. I would say that this lens is up there after the Laowa 9mm f2.8. I mean, this would be a second place if you're looking for a well built manual ultra wide angle lens. But there are two problems with this Makey. The first is that, as I've already mentioned, there are so many new performers out on the market, and so we are a bit spoiled for choice. The second issue is that Makey is primarily known for their budget lens offerings, but this lens really doesn't fall into that category because it comes in at 450 US. And that puts it in the same league as many other very good ultra wides. For about the same money, you could get the Laowa 9mm that I mentioned. For less money, you could get the Rokinon 12mm f2 with autofocus. For 499, you could get the Sony 11mm f1.8 with blazing fast autofocus and some weather sealing and optics that are certainly better. There are a lot of options right now, and I personally would lean more towards those options rather than this lens, simply because you're competing on price and so many other small features that do make a difference. Now, if this lens was $200 US, for example, it would be an easy recommendation because at $200, it has way fewer competitors. But at 450, it's harder to recommend this lens to folks unless you are looking for that 
rendering or you're looking for the build quality or you're looking for something that's a bit more of a challenge as an ultra wide. So I'm a bit torn on how to talk about this lens. Normally I would say that they just need to drop the price to 200 and they would sell, but this feels like a premium high end lens and I think it probably costs a bit to produce. It's solid, I like it, but if I were going on a trip and taking an ultra wide, I can't think of a situation in which I would take this over the Sony 11 millimeter. I just can't. So that is my review of the Makey 10mm f2. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned something from it. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this lens and its performance. If you are interested in buying it, I'll leave a link down below. That way, if it does go on sale, you can buy it for maybe less, who knows. So keep checking on pricing because I know that Makey has updated pricing a lot in the past. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for all of your comments, all of your likes and your support. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day. Bye-bye.